Okay, guys, so we are back. The doll ladies are getting ready because we are going to show you how to test and find out if a doll, if a ribbon is synthetic or natural fibers. But first, before we do that, our wonderful Chad here is doing something. Chad, hi, Hello. Chad. We're so excited you you're in the doll shop today. I am excited to be here. Yay. So uh, what what are you doing here, buddy? Um, You know, I'm a big Barbie fan. I know you're a huge Barbie fan. And when I walked in the shop today, you guys had some of these beautiful dolls sitting up front, and I fell in love immediately. And Why I, did you fall in love? As a, as, a, as a diehard Barbie collector, you saw that's our it. Grace doll. She's very much... Uh, uh, like Barbie, she's taller, but she's more like the more modern dolls that are, fashion, I believe, called fashionistas that have, you know, jointed hands and wrists, and you can just pose her in any direction. You guys had three up there. Um, I decided that I might give this one an updo, which is a first for me, but I've done it with uh, other uh, Barbies uh, once or twice. But we're going to try to give her a special look. She looks like she's just kind of woke up right now, but we're going to give her some curls. This is kind of a test run. But we've also going to try to get her some really beautiful, shiny curls and maybe have her look like she has just a little bit of a crown on underneath. Yes! You, you can do fun things with rings and things that we have even here in the shop. I went through your, I dug through your rings Oh there. my gosh. Okay, so what Chad did, everybody, you guys, these are men's sterling. rings that we, sterling men's <laughs> rings that we had for sale in the jewelry cabinet. And you put one in Grace and I love it. And I'm, I'm not finished, but ob obviously it's a, fairly tedious task but it can be fun i mean you can play with this doll you can pose this doll uh you can collect this doll put her on your shelf your little girls would love to play with her she's just so are you gonna buy one i am gonna buy three probably at some point <laughs> chad's gonna start. get three because you guys grace is coming out with uh some other some colors. other colors of hair so we're gonna have a grace she basic is just amazing she poses she sits she does everything she, she does everything she's sitting here in her little underwear thank you for giving her a little something for modesty on yeah, her I, on her I'm, bosoms i actually wanted to cover a little more there we go yeah no you should and that's that's good because um facebook will uh <laughs> facebook actually sometimes um <laughs> We've gotten, they've like deleted our videos over this before <laughs> saying we had yeah. excessive nudity. So here we go. That's yeah. good. So I think what we're going to do is when Chad figures out his wonderful method of creating this glorious updo for Grace, we are going to do a video and figure out how to do this. I think you guys, wouldn't you guys just love to, to see the process? Now, this isn't just plopping the hair on the head and calling it an updo. Right. This is going to be the most amazing updo ever. It is going to be one of the more uh, tedious ones. The thing about that's nice about her, I noticed that whenever I kind of started over, I brushed her hair out and the original curls almost came back. Yeah, it, it was like I love she that was about just, her. Yes, she's gorgeous without any um, hairdos at all. I mean, it just... The it, hair it just is comes fabulous back. on it Grace. It does. It just comes right back to Gosh, curl. I wish my hair did that. It's very soft. It's very shiny. Um, I haven't put any product in it, but... You got to be careful with products, obviously, with all dolls. Right. But um, she's a winner. She's amazing. She's amazing. a winner, she winner, winner. Exciting. I yeah, I I have to agree. She's mm -hmm. just one of the most fabulous dolls I've ever seen in my life. She's so posable and poised, and I know she can just do anything. She can do she's anything. Amazing. Yay! So. Um, you guys do not have to be afraid to play with Grace's hair. It is very hardy and durable. Most definitely. Most definitely. Thank you so much, Chad. We're so You're excited welcome. to see. So what we got over here is Stephanie is working on a sweet little, I, I, I think it's a JDK 237. It's a very, very, very close cousin of a Hilda. So, yep, it's a 237. So very, very reminiscent of a Hilda. So this sweet thing is going to look really good. But we're on here because we are going to test to see if one of our ribbons is, it. oh, Stephanie has it. Okay. Now, well, now we're going back. All right. So, okay. So, Stephanie, why are we doing this? Why are we testing to see if our ribbon is synthetic or natural fibers? Because on antiques, they only use um, natural fibers. They don't use synthetics. And sometimes some of the synthetics, it's very hard to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. So, the thing that you can do is, so I just cut a little piece off this ribbon and I'm going to burn it. So I'm holding it with tweezers over something. And as you burn it, 
And so it, it is, it's a natural fiber because it's probably a rayon because um, the little pieces are like ash. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it so you guys can see it. Okay, so the little pieces are like ash. Now, if it was, like ash, yeah. if it was, so we can burn more of it. So if it were a synthetic, it would ball up and it would be hard. Like if it was a polyester. Okay, so do we have any polyester laying around? I should have, um, we should have done that. Linda, see if you can find some polyester. So the this other thing is the smell. So it smells like burning paper. Mm -hmm. Or just, you know, like lighting your match. It doesn't smell like. And okay. so you can kind of see it now that it, it looks like ash. Mm-hmm. And our um, and it's soft, so it's a natural fiber. It's probably um, probably a silk, silk or a rayon. It's really hard to tell the difference between silk and rayon because they're both natural fibers, mm -hmm. and they burn the same. Um, so anyway, so that is a good way that you guys can do that if, if you can't tell. And uh, that is one of our little tricks that we use here at the doll shop to figure that out. So this um, this sweet boy is getting cleaned first and we're cleaning him in the this same method nylon. that we cleaned uh, okay. the Hilda yesterday. So Linda just pulled out a piece of nylon, which is a synthetic. So let's see what this looks like when it is burned. So you always want to do it over something that doesn't even want to burn very well. So see, it's, it's basically curling up and once the flame, and you can see it's even kind of boiling. Once the flame goes out, I don't want to touch it with my finger, but. Ooh, and it has a totally different smell. Yeah. So you can see it's, it's hard. Yeah, it, it has like a, I don't even, oh, I don't know. It has, it's like a gassy smell. Yeah, it's a gassy smell. And then the other one just smelled kind of like burnt paper. So it's yeah. a very distinctive difference. So if you guys try this at home, you'll know. And so this, this is hard right here. This has a hard bead. And so if you have nylon too, or something that's synthetic, and you iron it too hot, you can burn it. Mm -hmm. And then it'll bubble up. Thank you. There you that go. Is a, that is a great tip. I didn't even know we did that. What a great tip. Thank you, Linda, for giving us this idea. Now, one of the things that you are working on over here is this sweet, sweet Jameau dress. And you are reinforcing some of these areas of the silk with the wonderful, great glue that we have in the Virtual Doll Convention gift shop. You guys can get these little one ounce sample sizes that are just great. Now, can you show us a little bit how you are reinforcing the, the very delicate fibers on this dress? Well, first of all, I like using the ironing board because I don't want to stress the fabric out anymore. And I'm sort of piecing it mm -hmm. like that right and then i'll lift it up just put a little dab it's not very much that's it and then i'll continue doing that notice i'm doing the ironing board rather than constantly holding it because that only deteriorates the fabric more so how do the two pieces then stick together? Where's it's the... lined. Oh, I see. It has lining under it. If you don't have lining, you can always put another piece of fabric under it. I see. To hold it together. Okay. And sometimes you could, it's easier to put a, the same color under it. That way, if you don't match it perfectly, it doesn't show. But that's what we're doing. And then instead of on the melting of the sleeves, I was going to do something different. But I... Found some, went to the lace drawer and found this. Oh, that's great. And I took, because this is such a different color, it's not a tea color. I dyed this white lace with coffee. It's perfect. You did that today? Yes. Just, it looks so good. It's sopping wet. That's why it's down here drying. Oh, such great tips. Oh, yeah, you guys, this is sopping wet. She, I just, You just asked me like five minutes ago if we had any coffee. You did it that quick? I did. Good and job. This was white. I didn't have any ribbon. 
So that's going to go on it. And it's drying. Yeah, instant coffee just worked great to, to dye these pieces right here. And so what she's going to do, because this one is so um, deteriorated, uh, she's going to just camouflage it by putting that on there. And that's going to be so pretty. Yes. So Good idea. I love it. And then that dress is going on this beautiful jumeau right here. So I think it's going to be wonderful. Oh, and we must show our girl. She's done. Oh, she looks wonderful. I left this off because I didn't think she needed it. She doesn't need it. No, she doesn't need it. What do you guys think? I think she looks grand. She is just ready to go home. She is. To her new home. To her new home. Look at her wonderful shoes that say Paris. Oh, she's spectacular. Good job, Linda. Thank you. Yes. If you guys look at our videos over the last couple days, you can see how Linda has. And we also did a tutorial where Linda showed you how to how to bring life back to these wonderful bonnets right here. So the, the ribbons on these bonnets, she looks great. And I know her new mother is watching and she is going to be so thrilled. Her new mother bought her before we even did all the sprucing. So she's just gonna see this and go crazy. She's gonna go crazy. I love it. She's ready to go home. She looks fantastic. So Stephanie is using Gojo, which we've showed you guys before. It's a wonderful material to use to clean the composition bodies. It's you think of it like cream on a face. We use this Gojo. You just put it on there and wipe it around and look don't at all that. Don't do not use the <laughs> gritty one. No, we got we had a, a very nice lady use the gritty one, and she was so disappointed because it took off all of the paint. <laughs> so don't use the gritty one, everybody, but Gojo works great. Stanley, I am so proud of you on this finger, on this brew that you're working on. My goodness, you are just slaying over here. Let's see the progress. Well, it's coming along. Oh, wow. It's not done yet. Right. It was missing the pinky. This, doll, this brew was missing the entire pinky, and it's looking so much better. Mm -hmm. Good job, Stan. I was testing the coloring and... And then I noticed it needed a little extra fatness right there, so I added a little more of the epoxy patch. Stanley's a legend at doing this kind of work. Yeah. It's just fantastic. And Thank you so much. I've been putting this all bisque back together. Oh yes. Waiting for these uh, shims to dry with the way these are strong is straight through with um, with pegs. And you have to wait for one side to dry while you have the tension on. She's going to feel so much better. So, yeah, she's almost done and ready to go. She's ready to rumble. She had a little problem with the neck area here, so we're disclosing that. But it's all new stringing. And oh, man, she's looking great, she Stanley. Great, Good job. Look at those boots. great boots and those chunky legs. I just love these little she's wrestlers. She's a wrestler. She's a wrestler. Oh, you Uncle Maniacs. Yeah, she's, she's a, a honk. She's ready to go to Uncle Maniac. She is. She <laughs> totally is. She's ready to rumble. Look at Stanley's desk. It's like it's like so epic. I don't know how. It's always been a disaster though. So that means that this is how you thrive. This is how Stanley thrives. It's it's awesome. Look at this. It's great. And Stanley also makes our wonderful hooray stands. You've been got a bunch of these waiting yeah. for orders. Whatever color you want, black, cream, or gold. Yeah, we just paint. Uh, we when you guys order one, we just paint it right then and then send it on out. So we've got our little this shoulder one, plates in there, and they have a shoulder plate. So when they get it, you'll they come wrapped in some bubble like this. Uh huh. With the ball, and you just set this on there like that, and you pop this in. I usually send a little bit of this uh, floral wire as well in case there's undergarments and you need to suspend them. These are so cool and they are in the virtual can, convention gift shop and you guys can order them in three colors. Dress. Stanley, you did, you're doing such a good job on these. I love nice. them. Yep, he's got them. He's got them ready to go for immediate shipment. He just goes out and spray paints them for you as soon as you order them. So it's super cool. So Linda is using the great glue to reinforce this beautiful Jumeau dress, which I want you guys to try this. Get the great glue. You can get it from, we only have a couple sample bottles. We probably are close to selling out, but you can get it from 
the Doll Artisan Guild as well, and they're just wonderful. And so we get the big bottles, and then we refill them in these little bottles, which are just handy, handy little tools. So look at, she, she's reinforcing. It looks so good. It it's still going to be very delicate, but it's still... It's going to hold together. It's, yeah. Absolutely. Fantastic. One of the uh, projects that you guys can look forward to for our show next week is we are going to be working on this sweet, 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 tiny little brew. She has lots of issues and we are going to work on her issues and we love her even though she has her issues. So one of the issues is her leg fell off. So we're going to fix her leg and put it back on and just deal with some of her, the other things going on with her. She has damage which it's totally fine because she's still wonderful and we're going to make her just look so fabulous. So that's one of the things that you guys can look forward to next week on the doll shop show. So isn't she beautiful? The, the tea staining you guys is so easy and great. I just, I'm always amazed at how well that works and Look at Stephanie. She's already just off and running. She's almost totally restrung this one. Good job, Stephanie. Okay. Stanley's just slaying over there. Fridays are fun at the shop because we got a full house, right, Stan? Yeah. That's right. We got a full house. And Grace, in her modesty over here, is getting an updo. And she is going to look so beautiful. I cannot wait to see this glorious updo that Chad is working on for her. So we have a lot of plans for Grace. Don't worry, guys. She is going to be sending you guys so many letters and so many blogs about all the adventures she is planning. And uh, we're going to be showing you all kinds of things that you guys can do with her hair. So we're going to... Oh, I Chad, I love your hat. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm going to go up and show you my two graces that are up here in the front of the shop. I just have them right here. Here they are. So if you did not get a grace and you are very sad about not getting a grace, do not worry because we are going to have more graces. She is coming out with different hair colors so that you guys can have a little bit more playability there. I have changed my hair color so many times in my life, and it is a really fun thing. Chad, what do you, as a Barbie collector, what do you, what is your preference for hair color? Well, I like this color a whole lot. It's I so, love it, yeah. It's so silky and shiny. <clears throat> uh, I haven't seen the blonde or the red yet, but I'm betting they're going to be amazing. Uh, this costume on this doll just is very Jackie O looking, very elegant, so... Looks like you can do almost anything you want with these dolls. They're just so amazing to me. I know. They are so amazing to me, too. And, I could not believe it. And this just, you can brush the it hair. and it'll okay, go Okay, so I know a lot of our viewers that have purchased Grace are afraid to brush the hair. So can let's can we take Miss Jackie O back and give it a little brush and show them yeah. to talk them off their ledges yeah. a little bit? Want, let's try this one. Okay. I'm going to do her hair next, too, but it's not going to be as dramatic as the other one, but... There should be a little doll brush around here somewhere. Yeah, well, we let's yeah, let's show them. So if you guys have not br uh, brushed Grace's hair, you totally can, and it's fine. I wish my hair would just do that and and go back like that, but no dice. But that's part of the fun of having a doll is that you can have all of the fun and play that you don't get in your real life <laughs> in your real hair. Now some of the curl may come out, but. With just any kind of small curler, it'll go right back. But I, when I did the first one, I would just cur brush and brush. Whoops, I'm taking her thing out. Let's but, move her over. Can we move her over in the light yeah, a little yeah, bit? Yeah. yeah. There we go. That might be better. And see, it is coming out a little bit, but it holds at the end. And then most definitely, if I can get it a straight brush across. Now, if we were going to want to recurl it, then how would we do that? Just any small curlers you can find, any size, especially children's size uh, curlers or whatever. But look, Thanks, it's Dan. staying yeah, in. That it's helps. just very much staying in at the end, especially uh, for, you know, more of a dramatic look or whatever. But yeah, look, I mean, it, it's, it's coming fabulous. right back. It's even more kind of fluid than it was before. Than these tight curls. Right. Right. So, and you can put it back to that. I kind of like it. Like, I kind of like it brushed out a little bit better, especially with the headband. Yeah. And she's just so amazing. She has her little 
Mer with Look her. at Mer, you guys. Pierre. <laughs> That's the Pierre version of Mer. Chad's going to um, audition for a um, barbershop quartet after work today. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very scary. <laughs> barbershop quartet, Chad. Mm -hmm. Good. But I got the look. All right. <laughs> We're rooting today. for you, buddy. <laughs> Well, yeah. thank you. Well, yeah, I'm excited for her. She's amazing. Well, thank you so much. It's it's quite an honor for you to say that because Chad has a huge Barbie collection, and this is his first doll that he has been interested in wanting. That's not mm -hmm. a Barbie, probably that's, ever. That's off so. the path. <laughs> Definitely off the path for me. But I love her. She's amazing. And what is she like? Uh, 14, Sixteen inches. Sixteen inches. She's, so she's got a lot of a lot to work with. She's got so many uh, pointed positions as well. So. I want to tell you guys, um, I also have, see these G necklaces that she has? I have these coming in adult size. <laughs> so uh, so we can all wear our own Grace necklace. Yeah, They'll be here sure. soon. Isn't that exciting? So amazing. Yeah, I it's love it. It's a cool, cool doll for sure. Cool, cool doll. Okay, well, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. We are excited. Um, you put you use these little rubber bands to yeah. do her headband. These are uh, children's and mostly uh, sold for children, but they're unbreakable and they're they'll come out very easily. And you get a bag of two hundred for mm -hmm. a dollar. So it, even if you get it in there, it's even better to kind of just pull it out and just cut it out cut without it out. cutting the hair. Right. But it'll come out easier. That's what I'm using on her to hold some of her stuff together. I too, cannot but, wait until this up to. Yeah. But I really you had her with her hair in a high. Uh, ponytail and i loved that look too yeah we're gonna try that maybe on this doll too or if you want um we can you know what let's try. put her yeah let's try her hair in a ponytail i think that would be great for daytime yeah. and you guys can do the ponytail and then also wear the headband as well maybe like a side a low side pony sure what do you guys think yeah i mean it's just she's very fluid she does have a part but you know barbie doesn't necessarily have a part or the older ones don't but She's so fluid. You can just do so many things with her. I think I've said that about 10 times. But, uh, oh, well. <laughs> hey, I agree. So I actually held back 20 graces from the original edition. And once all the dust settles from everyone who has ordered one and they have all safely received their dolls and everything, then I will release the other 20. So we will have those available as well, probably within, I would say, a week. She's got amazing profile. She's got it all. She's got it all going on. Yeah, okay. So we will post pictures of, of course, uh, once Chad <laughs> figures out his method for this wonderful updo. Thank you, Stanley. We will do a video on that. And then I think a side ponytail or maybe even a high ponytail. It's just yeah. a day in the park with her poodle. Sure. When I used to have long hair, I loved high ponytails. Beautiful profile. Look at that. Beautiful profile. See how this is all coming back? It's yes. just there. That's just amazing to me. I love that. Um, can't do better. Can't do better. Mm -mm. Thank you, Chad. And you know what? I didn't even pay him to say that. <laughs> I don't get paid around here anyway. So. <laughs> Chad, Chad is actually... I, um, I love it. Pat, yeah, he comes in. This is his day off, and he's just coming in to hang out in the, in the doll... Um, the doll... What do you call it? Social club, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Linda's over there laughing. Is it... Is, but Fridays are fun because we do have a full house. Hey, Stan. Hey, Paul. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see you guys very soon. That was a fun video, and we hope you guys learned some awesome tips about doll care and restoration. And it was so fun to show off our wonderful Grace Marie. Oh, my gosh. If you guys ordered her, let me know. She's one of my favorite things we've ever done. Ever, ever, ever. Love her. Okay. Bye, guys.